We're talking about omega-3. So why does that industry need to look maybe at more sustainable sources? When we think of omega-3s, we think basically fish oil for the most part or, or other marine animals. Yeah. Well, you know, the fish that we're using to make omega-3s currently to meet the demand that the market has are kind of the base of the food web in the marine ecosystem. Um, krill as well, they're a very important source of nutrients for the larger fish and mammals in the ocean as well. And that's why, you know, we're interested in them for us. Um, so as the demand for omega-3 grows, we really want to stop this hunter gathering and meet that demand by farming. And uh, it's a new process, you know, it's as if corn 10 or 20 or 30,000 years ago, humans needed some practice developing this wild plant into something that we could kind of regularly produce um, in, a, in a consistent manner. And so we're kind of near the end of that process with microalgae as well. Um, and our microalgae in particular provides some of the same important long chain omega-3s that we look for in fish oil and krill oil right now. I think when a lot of people uh, think of algae, they think of something that's kind of disgusting and not exactly beneficial or anything they're going to put in their body. So why algae as a source of, of uh, long-chain omega-3s? Yeah, so there's, there's thousands and thousands of different kinds of algae in the world. And I think a, a lot of what people think about are in, you know, freshwater systems and ponds that they're walking by or things that happen and grow in their pools when they don't take care of them. And I agree, those are gross algaes. Um, but uh, the, the algae that we're growing is actually naturally occurring in the oceans. It's one of the kinds of algae that are in abundance in natural systems that the fish and krill and filter feeders are actually consuming and eating in those natural systems, which is what gives them the omega-3 content that they have. So we're, you know, I may be partial to the type of algae that we're growing, but we're growing this pure marine-based algae that has basically the most important nutrients in the marine in the marine food web, mm -hmm. and so that's why our algae is 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 better than most people's kind of perception of algaes, I'd say, in their normal day to day lives. I'll explain that a little more. So when we're when we're consuming a fish oil or fish to get the omega threes, it's actually not coming from the fish; it's what the fish ate. Yeah, a great majority of the omega three that we are getting from the fish or the krill came from what the fish ate, which is microalgae in the oceans.